Hey guys, this is Kami Ken, and this is going to be a video about why I think manga wins in the comics market. I think the reason is very simple. Their sole focus is to be as wildly entertaining as possible to their target audience. Whether it's shonen or shoujo, seinen or jose, the manga that is created is specifically designed to elicit the most emotion from the readers, which is why they are willing to pay top dollar for their product. The manga's only goal is to penetrate. I'm not gonna do it. Is to penetrate towards your emotions no matter what. The word is omoshiroi. Is it interesting? That's the only thing that matters. They don't care if it's achieved through sex, violence, or softness and comfort. If it's not a hit with readers, it gets canceled mercilessly. Because a new property has the urgency of being completely original, it doesn't have a pre-established history to fall back on, like comics like Batman or Spider-Man or Superman. The world is completely new and created from nothing. But that nothing has the potential to become a multi-million dollar franchise because instead of back issues to fall back on, manga has tropes tried and tested throughout the decades and they'll focus on them to a fetishistic degree. Since manga leans more on the cartoonish end of the spectrum when it comes to representational art, everything in the character design is carefully considered to elicit the most emotion from the reader. Cute characters elicit emotions of protective instincts. Strong and stoic characters elicit horniness from their uh, female fan base. Everything from the expression of the characters, the color of their eyes, their personality quirks, the slant of their eyelids, to how many eyelashes they have. Everything is calculated in terms of how can we make this character look sexier, more charming, more enticing. What is their backstory? Who are they as a person that the reader can get to know and love and follow on the journey? Take this new show, Delicious in Dungeon or Dungeon Meshi. All the character designs are meant to... Uh... Uh, wait, um, no, wait, uh, oh, no, no, that's not it, uh, uh, elicit specific, okay, here, they're meant to elicit specific emotions from you. Now consider the most popular comics, the exact same holds true, maybe not to the same degree, but certainly in general, you've got your Invincible, your Daredevils, your Walking Dead, your Scott Pilgrim your love and rockets strangers in paradise your sagas all the most popular comics seem to pay close attention to how you feel while reading them the comics that fall by the wayside may have good art but the emotions come secondary in the storytelling comic writers may get bogged down in research facts or the creative team could be working at odds with each other to the point where the characters just come off flat. Many factors can contribute to low reader emotion, which also equals investment in the story itself. Have I bought comics where that was the case? Yeah, plenty of them. Usually they have really good art and I can learn something from them on the artistic side. I'll toss a couple of bucks for many comics off of that alone but I'll pay a premium price for comics that can affect my emotional state. Modern comics have just as much data about what fans like as manga does. The problem is modern comics lose when the writers deny the fans what they actually care about. Manga mostly wins because everything is designed to trigger your emotions in some way. The messages of manga, at least shonen manga, are to become strong to go for your dreams, to work together to succeed. Everything in a manga is dedicated to catering to their audience. And for you storytellers out there, here's how. One, you just have to be aware of your genre, the genre you're writing for and serving. Give your readers something that they can't 
get anywhere else? Which conventions will you stick to? Which ones will you break? Story tropes that you usually see in the genre you're writing in. Horror, fantasy, mystery, superhero. The secret is to break just enough to surprise and shock and delight your reader. Give them something that they don't expect. And I'll tell you now that this is the secret behind Invincible's success and popularity. Same thing with Chainsaw Man. They were able to subvert the genre's expectations and give readers something that they enjoyed because it wasn't like all the others. So what do your lines and colors mean? How do they contribute to the overall emotional impact in your reader? And that's pretty much it. This is the equation as I know it. Emotion times time times quantity equals a successful comic or a successful franchise. Which means as a storyteller, you're basically a drug dealer. Take that how you will. Manga wins because it knows you better than you do and caters directly to you. And that's it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I onto something or am I way off base? I'll see you in the next one. Peace.